हाउ टू क्रैक विंग्स वन टी थर्टीन हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू स्मार्ट नाजे टेक्स स्टाडी this video we will discuss how to crack t13 and py previous year mcqs or most important mcqs so basically wings 1 t13 has data platforms that means it is a data related track data engineering and data visualization this course helps to associate to learn all the concepts in data engineering and data visualization technology so topics in t13 there are first one data warehouse in this we will discuss introduction to data warehouses and uh, its implementation so next topic is data visualization and its implementation so second one is tableau so tableau introduction to tableau and uh, data visualization with tableau and the third one is informatica power center so in this informatica power center so below topics are there so exam pattern first round is mcqs in mcqs number of question is 40 duration of mcq is 1 hour or 60 minutes pass marks which means 55% which is greater than equal to 22 for pass marks you will get only gems of rs 500 and uh, distinction marks if you get distinction that means 70% and uh, greater than equal to 28 out of 40 then you will be eligible for mcq round will clear with distinction so exam centers are tcs ion centers so after clearance of mcqs in first round in one week you will get a hands on round so in that hands on round also So if you clear you got distinction then your technical track will be cleared so now we will discuss some most important previous year mc questions pyqs first one a developer working on filters wants to limit the result set from a filter which of the following filters can he use for this first one is top filter b option b multiple value filter c single value filter d wild card match filter so the right answer will be top filter so basically a top filter can be used to limit the result set from a filter by selecting only the top n results according to a specified condition such as top sales highest ratings etc this allows the developer to control the number of results returned second one what will be the best visualization to compare the profit of different products manufactured by your organization or company so first one is i will directly jump into the answer the answer is bar chart the best visualization to compare the profits of different products manufactured by a company would be a bar chart so a bar chart is ideal for comparing discrete categories such as different products and showing each product's profit as separate bars this makes it easy to visually compare the profit amounts across multiple products so So correct answer is here bar chart. Now next question third one. What is the role of Tableau Server in a Tableau deployment? So the primary role of Tableau Server in a Tableau deployment is to share and collaborate on Tableau workbooks and dashboards within an organization. Generally, Tableau Server allows users to securely publish, share, and collaborate on visualizations and dashboards created in Tableau Desktop. It also supports other functions such as automating data refreshes at regular intervals and enabling access to external data sources. But But its main function is facilitating collaboration and centralized access across an organization fourth one most important one which of the following view uses the text tables to display the numbers associated with dimension members so the right answer will be cross tab Question number 5 Jennifer wants to open a URL within a dashboard rather than opening the system web browser it is possible to deploy a URL action on a dashboard yes it is possible by using a web page object question number 6 A developer wants to sort a graph with more than one dimension without using the combined field. Which of the following tools can she uses in this case? In this case, she has to use nested sort option. Question number 7, most critical and important one. You have been assigned the responsibility of optimizing the performance of a data warehouse system, specifically one that deals with complex analytical queries. This system often encounters lengthy processing times when handling this in intricate queries. For this, you decide to use a technique that involves break, breaking down a query into smaller tasks that that can be executed simultaneously across multiple CPU cores. Which technique should you employ? to improve processing speed and efficiency in this scenario so the right answer will be in this scenario you have to use parallel processing in order to increase multiple cpu cores in order to execute simultaneously across multiple cpu cores
क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन यू आर ट्राइंग टू क्रिएट मल्टीपल लुकअप्स इन विच वन ऑफ देम इज एड नेम इन इन्फॉर्मेटिका सेशन यू डो नॉट वॉन्ट द एड नेम टू रिटर्न मल्टीपल फॉर ए सिंगल सर्च विच आर द फॉलोइंग प्रॉपर्टीज कैन यू ओवर राइड आफ्टर द डिक्लेन इन द अब सेशन सो यू शुड यूज ए कैश इट डायनामिक लुकअप एंड टारगेट टेबल नेम क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन Harry has implemented a filtering of data in a Tableau project. Which of the following options is not a type of filter in Tableau? So basically, custom context highlight are the type of filter in Tableau. So not a type of filter will be normal. While going through the code for a Tableau project, you found the following code snippet. What will be the output of the code snippet? Floor, ceiling, three point four five six. So the output will be four. In Tableau, what is the purpose of a calculated field? In the basic purpose of calculated field is to perform mathematical operations on existing data fields. Calculated fields allow you to create new data fields derived from existing data using functions, formulas, formulas, and expressions. This can include calculations, conditional statements, and and uh, custom aggregations. So the correct answer will be. to perform mathematical operations on existing data results the purpose of calculated field will be used what will be the output of the following code snippet find nth multiplication of i comma 2 so the right answer will be 8 second option which is 8 so you can see the explanation also four functionalities of rank tens in tableau are provided in the options which of them is the correct option so basically the rank tens function in tableau assigns ranks to each value in a partition without skipping ranks for duplicate values when there are ties they receive the same rank and the next rank is sequential not skipped given the values 6 9 9 14 rank tens would assign ranks as follows 14 gets rank 1 highest value 9 gets rank 2 next unique value 9 gets rank 2 again since it is the same as the previous 9 6 gets rank 4 the next unique lower value so the correct answer will be option 1 it returns the rank for the current row in the partition with this function the set the set of values 6 9 9 14 would be ranked 3 2 2 1 next question important and essential question as a cloud developer ricky is implementing different types of data sets for a project which of the following option does not demonstrate a discrete data set uh, so basically in tableau a data analysis a discrete data set ref- first to a distinct set of values that are countable and separate each value is treated as an individual category rather than part of continuous range days in a week different days in a week and different months are all discrete because they represent distinct separate categories next one is same months in different years however is generally treated as a continuous rather than discrete because it implies chronological progression across years therefore the correct answer will be option 4 same months in different years question number 24 important and crucial one if you are using a live connection tableau automatically selects the option auto update worksheet choose the correct option that will disable this feature the correct option to disable the auto update worksheet feature when using live connection in tableau is worksheet auto update deselect the update worksheet option when working with live data connections tableau automatically updates the worksheet when the underlying data changes to prevent this from happening automatically you can deselect the auto update worksheet option within the worksheet settings so the correct answer is option c You are creating a Tableau report and need to use either an extract or a live connection. What is the best option available to choose an extract over a live connection? So the best option to choose an extract over a live connection is in Tableau is you need to apply an aggregation that takes too long when using a live connection. Using an extract is often pre- preferable when working with large data sets or complex calculations that takes a long time to process in real time with a live connection. Extract stores a snapshot. short of data allowing for faster performance when working with large or complex data sets because the data is pre aggregated or cached here is why the other options are not the best fit for choosing an extract you need you need the latest possible data at all times a live connection is better for this it ensures the data is always up to date second point is you need the data source to be only supported by a live connection via odbc in this case a live connection is required not an extract third one you need to join the tables that are in the data source join can be formed within both live connections and extract but this is not a session to choose an extract over a live connection so correct answer is you need to apply an aggregation that takes too long when using a live connection last option 
is as a site developer caroline is working on a project report for which she needs to use the bullet graph for which of the following option can you use a bullet graph so basically a bullet graph is ideal for comparing the actual against the target sales bullet graphs are used to represent performance measures typically comparing actual values such as sales against target values or benchmark it provides a visual indication of how far the actual value is from the target often using a horizontal bar with a marker showing the target and color bands to indicate the performance levels here is why the other options are not suitable for bullet or bullet graphs analyzing the trend for a time period so first one we are discussing in depth so hit the like button and subscribe our channel so first option is why the first option is not suitable basically this is better suited for line chart which can display a trending over time third one is adding to bins and calculated count measures this would be a more suited for a histogram and the uh, last one is displaying the sales growth for a particular year uh, this could be better represented by a bar chart or line chart depending on how the data is restructured so the correct answer is option b comparing the actual against the target sales question number 29 you are given the data of students that contains many tables under one schema which feature will help you extract the information from the tables options are union key column page groups tasks basically the feature that will help you extract information from multiple tables under one schema is union so answer will be union so a union in tableau allows you to combine data from multiple tables with the same structure same columns into one consolidated table this is useful when you have several tables that contain similar data like a students records from different years of the different years or terms and you want to combine them into a single data source for analysis here's why the other options are less appropriate so key column pair groups and tasks are why less appropriate based in the, this concept is related to data blending and not about extracting data from multiple tables so in the next question also they will they will remove union and they will uh, in the option they will mention this and what is the relevant so you need to answer one of them below so groups are used to combine multiple members of a dimension into a single group not a merging of tables so last option what is tasks tasks are related to actions or operations in tableau and are not used to combine tables so correct answer as you know union question number 30 most important most essential identify the filter present in the bookmarks folder in the tableau repository that contains a single worksheet so basically dot tbm dot tm dot tb full form and their functionality i will explain you in this question the file present in the bookmark folder in the tableau repository that contains a single worksheet is dot tbm basically dot tbm stands for tableau bookmark file is used to save a single worksheet in tableau these files can be shared and open in tableau to quickly load the worksheet along with its formatting and setup here a brief explanation of other options like tm.tm.tb.fk so .tm refers to tableau metadata files which contains metadata about tableau workbooks and data source tm tableau metadata here tb not a standard tableau file or type this is a not present in tableau this is just given for options only .tk also not a standard tableau file type so the correct answer is .tbm tableau bookmark bm means bookmark next 31st question interesting question a developer working on tableau wants to use a file containing the details of workbook which of the following options would help him use the required file so the options are tableau workbook tableau packaged workbook tableau data source and tableau package data source the best option for a developer working on tableau who wants to use a file containing the details of a workbook is a tableau packaged workbook a tableau packaged workbook dot twbx W package workbook contains both the workbook twb and any associated data sources images and custom calculations in a single file this makes it easier to share and work with in the workbook as it ensures all necessary elements are included in one package here is what the other options to represent tableau workbook twb this file contains only the workbook and references to the data sources it does not include the data itself making it less portable tableau tableau tds tableau data source this file contains only the data source which might be used for connecting to a specific data source but not a full workbook so the next one is tableau package data source dot 
TDSX. This is similar to a TDS but it includes data itself making it more portable than T.TDS. So the correct answer is Tableau Packaged Workbook. So this one is the right answer. Tableau Packaged Data Source. A developer working on a Tableau wants to use a file containing the details of a workbook. So which of the following options would be required, required a file means this one Tableau Packaged Data Source. I hope you have understood this question. So 32nd question, this is also important and essential for T13 MCQ round. You are working on a report and it requires performing the blending process. Which type of join should you use to achieve the desired results? So basically joints are as you know right join, left join, full join, inner join. When performing data blending in Tableau, you do not use traditional joints like a right join, left join, full join or inner join directly. Instead, data blending is a process where data from two, two different data sources is combined based on a common dimension. Tableau uses the primary and secondary data sources for this process with the common dimension in the primary source acting as the key to combine the data. However, when blending Tableau typically performs a left join on the common dimension between the primary and secondary data sources. This means that all data from the primary data source is kept and only matching data from the secondary data source is included. If there is no match, the secondary data is left as null. Correct answer, left join. Left join is the right answer as Tableau typically uses left join for blending data between primary and secondary sources. So question number 33 most fascinated one sir a developer like you requires a chart user to visualize the matrix value graphically using colors which of the following can she use for this? The correct chart Sarah should use to visualize a matrix of values graphically using color sheet is heat map. A heat map uses color to represent the values in a matrix, making it easy to spot patterns, trends, and variations in the data. It's particularly useful for visualizing large data sets where you want to represent data density, magnitude, or intensity using color. Here is why the other options are less suitable, which means tree map, histogram, and pie chart. A tree map uses nested rectangles to represent represent hierarchical data but not specifically for visualizing matrix values with color and the next one histogram user the histogram user for showing the distribution of a single continuous variable not for matrix data so last one is pie chart so pie chart is for showing parts of a whole and is not used for matrix visualization so the correct answer is heat map so another important one what is the purpose of show me pane in tableau the purpose of show me pane in tableau is to suggest appropriate visualization types based on the selected data fields the show me pane helps users quickly choose the best visualization type for their data by analyzing the fields they select it provides suggestions for different chart types based on the data's characteristics such as category or continuous allowing for faster and more effective data visualization creation the other options are incorrect because display a list of available data sources this is done the data pane and the show me pane created a calculated fields using predefined formulas this is done through analysis menu not the show me pane export visualizations this is done using a file menu or export option not show me pen so the correct answer is to suggest appropriate visualization types based on the certain data fields b is the right answer so 35th question which of the following visualizations is least appropriate for categorical data the least appropriate visualization for category data is line chart first one basically line chart typically used for showing trends over time or continuous data it connects data points with a line which makes it unsuitable for categorical data where individual categories don't have an inherent inherent order or continuous relationship second one is pie chart pie chart shows proportions of a whole and is is commonly used for categorical data with a limited number of categories third one is bar chart also ideal for categorical data displaying the frequency or value of each category as separate bars so combo chart is uh, can be used to combine both categorical and continuous data through it's not always the first choice it can still work for categorical data especially in comparison with other measures so the right answer is line chart line chart visualization is the least appropriate for categorical data Another interesting question, question number 36, a data analyst has to complete a project in four months. He divided his project into multiple tasks and wanted to schedule his tasks. Which of the following is the best visualization suited to solve the problem? So the options are bullet chart, heat, heat map, Gantt chart, 
and a bar graph. The best visualization suited for scheduling tasks and tracking their progress over time in a project is a Gantt chart. A Gantt chart is specifically designed for project management. It visualizes tasks along a timeline, showing the st start and end dates for of each task and can also indicate progress, dependencies and milestones. It is ideal for displaying how tasks are scheduled over a period like the four months in, in the case. Here is the why other options are less suitable like a bullet chart, a heat map, a bar graph. Typically, bullet graph is typically used to performance, used for performance tracking against a target, not for scheduling tasks. And heat map used for visualizing data density or patterns, but not ideal for task scheduling. And the final one is bar graph, useful for comparing quantities across categories, but does not show time-based relationships or task scheduling. So the right answer is here, Gantt chart. Question number 37, fascinated one, what is frequently used a technique in data visualization that involves adding a little purposeful noise to the image to avoid overlapping and to preserve the integrity of what is communicated known as? The technique in data visualization that involves adding a little purposeful noise to the image to avoid overlapping and to preserve the integrity of what is communicated in is known as jitt jittering. Though it seems the options provided are misspelled or incorrect. Jittering adds small random noise or displacement to data points to pre prevent overlap in visualization, especially in scatter plots, ensures that individual points remain visible and distinct. However, if you are referring to the options provided, Blending. Blending means refers to combining data from multiple sources and joining is refers to merging tables based on a common field in a database. And the altering is filt altering and filtering are seems to a typo and not a recursive term. Uh, filtering is the uh, refers to process of restructuring data based on condition but does not involve noise. Since the current term is jittering, this is the right answer. None of the provided options are exactly right. However, based on the context, the internet technique seems to align most closely with the concept of jittering jittering only so the jittering is the right answer here question number 38 important one penny a developer wants to display the progress of value of a task or resource over a period which of the following charts should she use for this either she can use bubble chart bullet chart cross tab chart or Gone chart. So to display the progress of value of a task or resource over a period, Penny should use Gantt chart. Basically, a Gantt chart is specifically designed to visualize the progress of tasks over time. It shows the start, start date and end dates of tasks along with their progress, making it easy to track projects, timelines, and milestones. Here is why other options are less suitable. Because bubble chart, it is good for showing relationship between three variables, but not ideal for tracking progress over time. And the bullet one, bullet chart is typically used for displaying performance against the Target, but not specifically for showing progress over time. Cross tab, cross tab chart used for displaying data in a tabular format, not ideal for tracking progress over time. The right answer is Gantt chart. Option D is the right answer. Another important and essential question: You are working on a project and are required to display measures over a period of time. Which of the following? options would you use for this task option one line chart bar chart histogram scatter plot basically to display measures over a period of time the best visualization option would be a line chart a line chart is ideal for showing trends over time as it connects data points with a continuous line allowing you to clearly observe how the measures change over the time period you are analyzing here's why other options are less suitable line chart is the first one is the right answer and why these three bar chart histogram scatter plot are not suitable in november cycle there is a chance to, to ask what is histogram and scatter plot related question so first first of all we, we have to know bar chart good for comparing quantities across categories but not ideal for showing changes over time and the histogram is best for showing the distribution of a single measures example frequency distribution not trends over time so the scatter plot is useful for showing relationship between two conditions two continuous variables but not for tracking trends over time so the right answer is first one line chart question number 40 last question we have been working on a project and need to specify dimensions to execute from from the view level of detail which of the following options will be helpful in this scenario so the exclude lot level of detail exclude lot allows you to specify dimensions to exclude from the calculations of measure effectively removing them from the level of detail offered that calculation this is helpful when you want to focus on certain data aspects while ignoring others fixed lot specifies a calculation to a fixed set of dimensions regardless of the views level of detail include lot so adds dimensions 
dimensions to the level of details for the calculation including them even if they are not part of the view so last one is exclude load exclude specific dimensions from the calculation regardless of whatever they are in the view so the right answer is exclude load so this is all about previous year important questions exam pattern and how to crack t13 in winx one thanks for watching our videos don't forget to like subscribe and share we shall meet in another super latest video until then jai hind jai bharat